I don't <clears throat> I don't believe in bad uh, promoters when it comes to people's shows. Um, I hosted a few performers myself as a promoter. I've been around music almost 10 years. And, you know, a lot of rappers have used that excuse. Oh, it was the promotion. That's the reason why people didn't show up. And 1% of their time, that's the reason. The other percent of their time is that you're trash at performing and no one wants to see you. I'm tired of people making excuses for uh, rappers making excuses and people making excuses for rappers why people don't want to pay their hard-earned money to see him. It doesn't take that long to figure out if you're trash or not. It just takes one or two people to show up to your concert, see you perform, and report a report of how you perform. All these rappers that want to be independent, all these rappers that want to be on your own and do your own thing, you should learn how to perform too. And see, this is this is the problem where there's a difference between different breakthroughs of a long time ago and now. With the independent game compared to the more controlled game. When you had the more controlled music game, at least that came with learning how to perform. At least it showed you how to choreograph. At least it showed you how to get on stage and, 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 and show your presence. Nowadays, you know, with all the independent artists and everybody, you know, trying to learn how to do things on their own, they're not really learning how to do things on their own. You know, if you want to be by yourself, you got to learn how to do everything completely on your own as a rapper. You know what I mean? And if you don't know how to perform, that's that's where your money's at in independence. Your money is in the performance. The best performer I ever seen live is um, Mac Dre. That's the, that's the best performer I ever seen. I've seen a lot of performances. I've seen performances. You know, Mozzie's one of my favorite performers. I've seen his performance twice. i see seen uh, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is in my top five. Tech Knot is in my top five. Um, you know, I've seen Kevin Gates. He's in my bottom five. Messi Mars is in my bottom five. Uh, I've seen a lot of older people perform at blues concerts. and You know, I mean, I've seen everything. And... Um, you know, the great ones that stand out, to me, the reason why Matt Dre stood out to me is because, you know, for a person that was fresh out of prison, that was able to get out, you know what I'm saying, get on stage, and remember all his songs, word for word, spitting word for word, dance from word for word, every, you know what I'm saying, do two or three albums on stage. Word for word, that's the most impressive stuff I ever see in my life. I don't care. That's the most impressive performance I ever seen. I wasn't even a Matt Dre fan. I'm gonna keep it real. Like I wasn't when Matt Dre first got out. I wasn't even a fan like that. Let's do a couple songs. My brother, he was a diehard Matt Dre fan. Me, uh, you know what I mean. I listen to Matt Dre time to time, but I was still on that super gangster shit. I start I, after I went to his performance in Santa Cruz. I became a fan. Of real talk. A real deal fan, like, in shock on how good that performance was. So, you know, performance is really, it's not all about choreography. It's really all about stage presence and understanding the lyrics and understanding that people come to see you. They don't come to see you get on stage and jump around with the mic in your hand and, and, and sit here and spit ad-libs to, your, to, your, to a song that's playing. That's the most irritating stuff ever. That's the most irritating stuff. That makes you want to really catch a fade with a nigga. There's a couple rappers I wanted to catch a fade with. You got up there and just didn't even rap and just play the song. There's a couple rappers that I wanted to catch a fade with about that. Because 